Thank you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. Thank you, Jesus. You are mighty. And you're holy. You are lifted high above all. So we worship you, Almighty God. You are lifted high above all. So we worship you. Almighty God, you are lifted high above all. So we worship you, Almighty God, you are lifted high above all so be lifted high be lifted high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy you're righteous and worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, be lifted high. You're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, thank you, Lord. You've proven yourself in our lives. Now we've come to realize that you are too faithful to fail us. Oh, 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 oh thank you, Lord. You are too faithful to fail me. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Oh, you have proven yourself in our lives now we've come to realize you are too faithful to fail us cause you have a track record of keeping your word and you're not about to stop doing it now you have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. Because you've proven yourself in our lives. Now we've come to realize that you are too faithful to fail us. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. You have proven yourself in our lives. Now we've come to realize that you are too faithful to fail us. And with our hands lifted up. And I'm out filled with praise, with a heart of thanksgiving, we will bless thee, O oh God, with our hands lifted up, and our mouths filled with praise. Oh, thank you, Lord, with a heart of thanksgiving, yeah, we will bless the oh God, with our hands lifted up. 
and I'm out filled with praise. Oh, thank you, God, with a heart of thanksgiving. We will bless you, oh God, yeah, with our hands lifted up. Oh, thank you, God, and our mouths filled with praise. Salakosha Lendiata with a heart of thanksgiving. Oh, thank you, God. We will bless you, God. With our hands lifted up. Oh, thank you, God. And our mouths filled with praise. Oh. With a heart of thanksgiving, we will bless the oh God. Yeah, we will bless the oh God. Oh Lord, we will bless you, oh God. With a heart of thanksgiving, oh, my soul will bless the oh God. Yeah. With my hands lifted up, oh, my Jesus, and my whole heart is filled with bread. So oh, thank you, God, with a heart of thanksgiving. I will bless the oh God through it all. Through it all, I have learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God yeah. through it all, through it all. I have learned to depend upon his word through it all, through it all. I have learned to trust in Jesus. I have learned to trust in God and through it all. Through it all. I have learned to depend upon his word. And that's why I will bless thee, O oh God. I will bless you, my God, with a heart of thanksgiving. I choose to bless you, oh God, with my hands lifted up. Oh, thank you, God, and my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh God. Nipo go on no eshe, nipo go on no emashe, oh Baba. Nipo go on no emashe. Nipo go on no emashe, oh Baba. Imela, oh, imela, oh. Imela o chine que mela Imela o Imela o Imela o Imela o Imela o chine que mela and what the end of it for evil, God turned it around. He turned it around. What the end will be back 
forever. My God, turn it around for my good. It's a land Thank you, God. It's a land in which you lay. I like you, Nana. It's a land in which you lay. Ah, and my share. Oh, I like I know me sorrow. Emma Shewo, who need me sorrow, Repa Kopaya, Eshewo, ah, Ola Mia, Sero, eh, Emma Shewo, ah, Ijile, Nino Ijile, oh, thank you, God, Eshewo, cause what the end of it? For evil, my God turned it around. Yes, He did. He turned it around. What the end of it for evil? My God turned it around for my good. And so, why would I shout your praise? <laughs> Who would serve a father like you? Hey, oh, yo, yo, Chimama. Why would I jump and shout up? Who wouldn't love a father like you? Oh, yo, yo, Chimama. Why would I shout your praise? Why would I brag about you? Who would love a father like you? Hey, oh, yo, yo, Chimama. Hey. In the Mosibinic way, and I see Hallelujah, and I see Hallelujah, Jehovah Melo, oh Melo, for the victories we've won. The Mosibinic way, and I see Hallelujah, and I see Hallelujah. And so we say, take all the glory. Uh, Jehovah, take all the glory. Jehovah, take all the glory. It's from our hearts. It's from our hearts. We cry, take all the glory. All the glory, Jehovah, take all the glory. Jehovah, take all the glory, glory. It's from our heart. And what the end of it made for evil. My God turned it around. I let up a cuss. He turned it around. What the end of it made for evil? My Jesus turned it around for my good. What the end of it made for evil? Yeshua turned it around. My daddy turned it around. What the end of it made? For evil, my God turned it around for my good. Jilen in Wintelen, Emma Shewo, Shalati Kanyana, Jilen in Wintelen. Oh, thank you, God. Eshewo. I know me sorrow, I am the end. I am a show. I am the end. I am the end. I am the We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the mighty victories that we have won. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Salado, Salinda, Lebakatiza, Vrande, Ketesha. 
with a grateful heart, we lift our hands to you. I like a pandea, proclaiming that you reign. Nani kusuni eba yalata. With a grateful heart, we've come to lift our hands to you. We proclaim that you reign. Lord, you reign. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for, you know, this is the last 6 a.m. watch in 2023. We do not take it for granted. We thank you, Lord, also for everyone. This is the last day for all the watches in 2023. Thank you for how you've kept everyone. Thank you for all the prayers that has been offered. We thank you for all the transformation, the life that's been changed. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and adoration. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. Thank you for everyone that you have used. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for all the testimonies we've received on this platform this year. Thank you for all the teachings. Thank you for all the transformation. Thank you for everything. We are grateful. Lord, we're coming this morning to your end. Again, we want to say thank you for your daughter, Toby. We pray that, Lord, you continue to strengthen her and uphold her in Jesus' name. As we dive into today, oh God, where our hearts are open to receive your word as we prepare to transition to 2024. Thank you, Most High Father. In Jesus' precious name, we've prayed. Amen. With Jesus' joy, let's welcome Pastor Tyo as he helps us wrap up the 6 a.m. watch for the year. Over to you, sir. Praise God. Praise God. Um, okay. Um, thank God for um, for today. I don't know if I'm able to share my screen. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah you're okay. sharing it. Just a moment. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay, so... Ah, praise God, praise God, praise God. Um, I'm excited to be here again. Um, <laughs> it's um, it's it's always a pleasure to um, to join you and to you know have a time of prayer with you. Um, uh, thank you, Pi, for having me around. Thank you, everyone, for having me around. Um, very quickly, we are going to be praying, but the burden on my heart of what I want us to pray about, you know, the more I try to prepare a note, the harder it gets for me. So I said the only way I could communicate this is to be as visual as possible. All right. So I'm trusting God that very quickly we'll be able to look into God's word and we'll be We'll be able to, we'll be able to pray. Okay, um, Zechariah, Zechariah chapter four. Um, this is one of the visions of Zechariah. Um, Zechariah chapter four. My emphasis is on verse six. Um, but for those of you that you know me, you know I'm a little obsessed about accurate interpretation of the scripture. So um, we, we are just going to um, read a bit of the beginning just so that we situate the conversation in, in context. Um, so Zechariah chapter, so I'm going to start reading from verse one. I, I've taken the liberty of actually having the end the entire passage, you may read along. Um, it says, the, then the angel, um, sorry, one minute, I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. So he said, then the angel who talked with me returned and woke me up. Um, sorry, one Okay. All right. Then the angel who talked with me returned and woke me up like someone awakened from sleep. He, he asked me, what do you see? 
And I answered, I see a, um, a solid gold lampstand with a bowl at the top and seven lamps on it, with seven channels to the lamps. With seven channels to the lamps. Also, there are two olive trees by it, one on the right of the bowl and the other on its left. I asked the angel who talked with me, what are these, my Lord? He answered, do you not know what these are? No, my Lord, I replied. Now, listen to this. So he said to me, this is what the word of the Lord says to Zerubbabel, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Now, I, I took the liberty of reading the entire passage just to give you the context. And, you know, just looking at it now, you begin to get a flow of where this is beginning to look a bit strange, right? So in this vision of Zechariah, we see uh, uh, pardon me, but I, I need to give this one. I'm just going to keep getting distracted if I don't just let it run once and for all. Um, Sister Wumi, um, no worries, it's not you. It's not the spirit that revealed her name. I I I know sister. I know sister Wumi as a person. Sister Wumi Akin Losoki. I think I got the surname right. Um I God is for your shame. God wants to give you double. He wants to give you double. And <clears throat> let, let, me, let, me, let me give you a, a pattern. It, I'm not sure if this is already happening or is going to happen. Um, but whichever way it, it goes, you, you probably want to write it down. I, I, I'm going to need you to keep an open mind with God. Again, I don't know what, what this conversation is, but it is my belief that you've been, there, is, there has been some conversation that you've been putting before the Lord. Um, and I don't want to make any assumption, but I just want to say that the way that God is going to answer is that, I don't know the word to describe it, but it will, it will first, it will first shock you just to prove to you that you cannot reason out his ways. I, I, I won't even be surprised if God is going to take you outside of your location to first go and give you an answer. Then he will now bring you back to your location to come and say to you. Uh, again, I, 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 I I may not be able to place my hand on the details of what, I'm, what it is I'm talking about now, but just write it down so that when events begin to unfold, um, you can understand that it is the Lord trying to show you that his ways are, they are beyond understanding. They are farther than your ways, okay? Um, and I think part of that plan is that he is literally going to bless you, start blessing you in such a way that you will, 
you, you, you know that moment when God does things like he just wants to humble you. He, just to show you that everything you need, you won't have it, but it will not matter. When he has now finished shopping you, now, you might be tempted to think that, to settle and think, oh, so this is what God wants to do. No, 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 no. You are getting it, you are getting it all wrong. That's not even what he wants to do. That's just the beginning. He is just doing that one to first of all shock you first. Before the real thing that he wants to do for you is there is not that one. That one is to first of all humble you to shock you to the peak and prove to you that uh, I, I believe when when it begins to unfold, it will make it will make sense to you. I, I can't make sense of it. And I'm struggling with words to really be able to express what it is that I, 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 I think is happening or going to happen. But just bear it in mind that when it begins to happen, hmm, the first fruit is actually not the main thing. That one is just God trying to first of all show you his greatness. When he's now done and you fear him in another dimension, then you will now start unraveling what it is that he wants to do. Uh, he says for your shame, he's going to give you double. He's going to give you double. All right. So, sorry, but I, uh, people of God, I had, to, I had to let that out. All right. So now back to this scripture. He said, he answered, do you not know what these are? Now, he started by talking about this revelation, right? And he described a few things, and we'll come to that in a bit, because that would lead us into our prayer for, for, for this morning. When he finished describing all of that, he now said, he then said I now ask, I said, my Lord, what are these? He said, he now said to me, he said, eh, you saw this thing that you are seeing now, you don't know what it means. He said, no, I don't know what it means. And look at how he interpreted it now. <laughs> if someone had given you this revelation and asked you to interpret it, it is highly unlikely that your interpretation, now look at the revelation, he said, um, I see a solid gold lampstand with a bowl at the top and seven lamps on it with seven channels to the lamp. Also, there are two olive trees, one to the right, one to the left. Now, he took all of that and he said the meaning of it is that this revelation is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. And the meaning of this revelation that you are seeing is that not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. It, it's very hard for, for me to situate this revelation with this interpretation. It just doesn't add up. There is nothing in need on the surface to suggest that this is what God is talking about. Now, before we get uh, before we get into it, the first thing I need to show you is this image, okay? Uh, for those of you that you grew up in the city, you probably would not understand this, but I'm just going to explain that in a bit. This is a local lantern. Sorry, some of us, we grew up <laughs> on, on cocoa farmland <laughs> in our father's village. And uh, in those parts of the world, we, don't, we didn't use electricity. We use this kind of lamp. Now, this is an African invention where, so you see that base, it's, it's the place where we put the oil. So in, in those days, it used to be kerosene now. And then you see that rod, right, that is pointed out where there is the fire. There is a thread, okay, that we put inside. That thread is supposed to be the link between the top and the oil inside. 
And the whole idea is that when you light a fire on the top of that thread, the thread does not burn. But, be, and the reason why it does not burn is because there is a connection between that thread and the oil. So it is burning on the strength of that oil. So the thread is producing light, is producing fire, is producing heat, but he's not doing it at his own expense. The thread is doing it at the expense of the oil. He's, he's taking that oil. So because of that, he's producing fire and he's not getting burned. You know, there is not something very interesting that we used to do in those days. So usually when they send you to buy the oil, and for some reason you forgot to buy the oil, and in the night, there is insufficient oil in the base of the... <laughs> because we don't want, want them to know that we forgot to buy the oil that we are supposed to buy. So we devise an invention, which is when the oil finish, so usually we will pull up the thread a little bit. So the fire will keep burning, all right? Then we think that there is oil and the fire is still burning. Nobody is going to suspect anything, okay? <laughs> it was a little trick. But the problem is that the thread will start burning. It starts burning out, okay? It starts burning out. So instead of the thread burning based on the strength of the oil that is in the base, now the thread begins to burn out. If you look at it, you will think that everything is all right. All right, because it's still producing light and it's still producing fire. But the reality is that this thread, instead of burning, is now burning out. And the reality is that this is the reality of the believer also, right? Instead of us to run on the strength of oil, the believer is like that thread. There are two options by which you can burn, okay? You can either burn on the strength, you can produce result on the strength of the capacity that you have within you. Or the other option is that you can produce it on the capacity of the oil, on the supply of the spirit, okay? When you, when you burn, on the supply of the spirit, what people begin to see is that you continue to give out and you continue to give out and you continue to give out and there is no down moment with you. When you burn or you begin to produce this result on the strength of your human effort alone, it will still continue to produce result and people will still see, people will still marvel at the result, but the truth is you will begin to burn out and people will not know that you are burning out. So a lot of burnout a lot of believers, so when we come to December like this, you begin to see believers begin to breathe a sigh of relief, like finally, we are, oh, we are done. Because they spent the past 12 months burning on the strength of their capacity, and at some point, they are beginning to burn out. And guess what? People don't even care that you are burning out. Most of the time, people don't know the difference. The Bible says, that like the light, we are like a city upon the hill that cannot be hidden. He said the same way that man does not light a candle and put it under a bushel. So it is in the same way. The, 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 the things that are manifesting in the life of the believer, and it could be a lot of things, not even only spiritual. It could be in your finance. It could be in your... In, in, in your place of work. It could be in your career. It could be in your business. People born on the strength of their intellect, so they born out. <laughs> people, people born on the strength of their fine of, of, of the cash that they account, can account for. So at the end of the month, you see them beginning to become touchy and angry because they, you know, they've they've spent and they've spent and they've spent. The truth is, there are other people 
who depend on the strength of the spirit, they born on the strength of the spirit. Their finances is born in on the strength of the spirit. In their place of work, they are born in on the strength of the spirit. That's why people will look at them, they cannot understand how can this person be able to do so much and he's not breaking down. What's, what's really going on here? Because he is not burning on his own strength. He is burning on the strength of the spirit. When there is a supply of the spirit, we are able to burn for a very long time. We are able to produce results for a very long time. We are able to affect lives and lives of other believers for a very long time. Now, when you understand this, and you now come to the prop to the vision that Zechariah had, and you begin to look at the element of that vision, then it begins to make sense to you why the interpretation of that vision, like God said, is that not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit. So let's look again at the vision of Zechariah. In the vision of Zechariah, there are about four, five elements, actually. All right. So there are the two olive branches. There is the, the receptacle. There is the bowl on top, right? There is the seven pipes and there is the seven lampstands. So if we are to draw the vision of Zechariah, all right, put it into a picture, it will look something like what you have on your screen right now. Now, if you look at it, on the two sides, we have the olive tree. Now, time will not permit us to be able to dig into the scripture and begin to show you, but we do know that the olive tree is going to produce oil. So if you look at the structure of that vision, and that is how the angel came about that interpretation. Now, if you look at it, you can see that there is an olive tree on the right, there is a tree on the left. And he now said that there is a branch from that tree. That branch is feeding into a bowl, all right? And from inside that bowl, there is a connection that is running into the pipes. And then these pipes are connected to the lampstand. Meaning that the burning of this lampstand, are you beginning to make sense of where the oil that is powering it? So just like, I, I, and that's why I had to show you that my village local lantern so that it will help you to be able to situate this mental picture in context. All right. Now, when you look at this, what is really going on is that these lamps are not exactly burning in isolation. We can trace where the supply is coming from. But what you see here is that the branch is supplying, but that branch is actually connected to a tree. What that typically means is that as long as the tree is alive, this branch is alive. As long as this branch is alive and, it's, and everything is connected, there is a supply. But the interesting thing about this supply is that this supply is endless. As long as this tree is alive, all right? The, the source of the oil that comes from this branch is just a product of the fruit. But the tree itself is the actual source. We had the oil that is going to be powering this light is going to be on. Now, when you now backtrack again to the context in which the angel was even giving this vision in the first place. Again, you know, this was at, during the period of the rebuilding of the wall of Israel. And there were a lot of opposition to the work. All right. And again, to, to understand all of this, you need to be able to read Haggai and a few other books. But we don't have all of the time because we want to pray. We just want to get a context of the prayer that we're going to be praying. Now, their hand was becoming weak because of the many opposition that they were having. All right? 
And the reason why they were becoming weak was that there was a lot of exercise of their human strength. And what God is bringing to them at this point is to say, it is not by power. It is not by mind, but by the supply of the spirit. All right? As we embark on a journey into the new year, I, I want us to make this the bedrock of our living. And that is what is going to be influencing our prayer to, uh, this, this morning. That if we depend on our strength, instead of burning, we are going to end up burning out. But like God is bringing this vision to, Ezekiel, uh, to, to Zechariah, Instead, you must now begin to tap into the unlimited resources of the Spirit. So that through the unlimited resources of the Spirit, you are able to continually burn without burning out. So, Isaiah tells us, he said, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he faints not? Neither is he weary. He said, there is no searching of his understanding. And he said, he gives power to those who faint and to them who have no might, he increases strength. Now, look at verse 30. He said, even the youth shall faint and be weary. And why is he bringing that picture? Again, if you know what the Bible says about the youth, he said, the glory of the young people is in their strength. All right, meaning that in his strength, the young person is capable of doing a lot of things because he's a young person, he's agile. All right, the problem, however, with running in that his strength is that as powerful as that is, it will get to a point where it will start becoming weary, it will get to a point where he will faint despite his strength, no matter how strong you are. No matter how intellectually strong you think you have, <laughs> no matter how financially strong, no matter how strong, <laughs> excuse me, it is that you are in any area whatsoever, I tell you, it is only a matter of time before the heat begins to tell on you. All right, but when you depend on the supply of the spirit, that supply that does not have end, what is going to happen is that you will be able to run without becoming weary. You will be able to walk without fainting. And that is what God is proposing to us that as you go into this year, rest on the supply of the spirit. Tap into the supply of the spirit. Connect with the supply of the spirit and be able to run by the supply of the spirit. So this morning, I want us to look up to God and say, Lord, I tap into the supply of the spirit, the unlimited supply of the spirit. Now, in that, in that supply of the spirit, there is no limit. And in that supply of the spirit, there, the Bible says he has given us all that we need for life and godliness. Everything you need. Everything you need to do ministry. Everything you need to do family. Everything you need to, to do um, career. Everything you need to do business. Everything you need to manage every component of your life. There is a supply of the spirit. So I'd like us to just begin our prayer journey this morning by asking God and saying, Lord, I tap into the unlimited supply of the Spirit. Lord, I tap into the unlimited supply of the Spirit. I tap into the unlimited supply of the Spirit. I tap into the unlimited supply of the Spirit. Maria kotobori andele mameda zozeri abakataba. Le koprodo kosoto rima masantelebo. Lord, I tap into the unlimited supply of your spirit. I tap into the unlimited supply of your spirit. My Korea Beto Seko Barade. 
le iko shike lo baro de sute mandi eli emende bereke toko paradati ko seliandi le breto so brame na no zozo klera babo le kratike boko su kote ko zeke teke le baba rande doro mwa si koto bele ke teke balebo lord i tap into the unlimited supply of the spirit i tap into the unlimited supply of the spirit Merwa ke topo so koto lebre ke teke balabaya. Raka pasu ke tele banderebo. I tap into unlimited supply of the spirit. Yeru ko pato ze ke tele ba. Ele me de moro so to kalababa. Lembre gede barata zuze le mande barabo te kalabosha. Le dita brambe te ke de bramazia. Lord, I tap into the unlimited supply of your spirit. Rehisi e ke teke lima. Roto zabra inde brande glerus kabarata ki yoge la bozende. Enre me keteke le baba. Ye keteke debre keteko la barata kabalabaya. Ile moto bobo zoko toro bobo zende. Menre keteke le brama sakapa. I tap into the unlimited supply of your spirit. Meri ora baskete li anderebo. Ye keteke brede ke limo santa labaya. Eliminando robo, me kratike su kabramba barata ka zo le berekete liba. Ine no su parata, zo yi le beriakuba, le kreteke bedeleba. I tap, I tap, I tap into the unlimited supply of the spirit of grace. I kredo basu zu le kabarate kozebo. Yem brande le bramito zakla brangede, le gyoro masi teke leba. Can we pray and say, Lord, I refuse to burn out. I refuse to burn out. I tap into a strength that cannot be explained. I tap into a wisdom that cannot be explained. Yene bende golo brama si kete lebae. Runde kete bre. Arianda baraka tamaboli akaba. Lebre keto bili ko zanda brama made ko tekebo. Ye krede ke brabe de dozoli ante liba. Ande le bro mo bo so koto le brabe. Ye kete kete bele ke debo. Len brama shanta baraba. Ide bre kete ke lebo su kete lebo. I tap, I tap, I tap into the supply of the spirit. Make it to barashen tele brame se ke tele bo. Yende keri andere bo bo rua kataba. Roti ke le medzuza ramandelia. Edre ke peke to blabarandele bo. Shanta brambe ke te ke le bregede. Rute ke brima nu sante li bo ruma yike luba. Je pradite su kabo ramazende. Indo bredo so koto kababa ladaba. Era mezoto borobo sukete boria. Manda la brama sakata kalabaye de romas pondelebo. Shite ke parada sute mandi. Indre metu balato zobodi. Le grede ke te barana suenda labo. La teke suze bere ke toni mandori amaskanta laba. Indra baba baraka tandelebo. Le bre ke te ke lendo barama sute ke bo. Le mamiro ko sabate ke lebo barante ke ba. Indra mesuke baratu zizo kalabo. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ye kedandu ske li broma skuta balada. Buseli andorobu ske te li maye de bosha. Um... We we are still going to pray. We we are still continuing that that prayer. I um I I just need to check in something. Do we have anyone here who um yeah. okay? So so the word that is coming is for Mama Funke. So I I don't know if. I mean that, that that's the way it came. So um I if you are I don't know if you are Funke and your mom is Mama Funke or your 
daughter's name is Funke. Um, Someone said her mom is Funke. Oh, okay. Now, and I have a sister is Funke. Okay. Now, he, 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 he said, mm. because when that, you know, it, it, it came earlier, but, you know, it wasn't ex exactly so clear, but. Sorry, um, our mom is Mama Funke because our elder sister is Funke. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um, so, so, so here, here, here's what I see that it, it's the word that is coming for for this Mama Funke again. Uh, I'm guessing the the person is probably not on this call, but I mean, thank God we have someone who who could give the word. It's it's almost like God is saying that. I, I see someone who in in a very long time the devil is pushing her not to find a reason to smile. And it's almost like God is saying, look, uh, you know, the, 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 I'm trying to remember the song that this sister was singing at the time that um, what the enemy meant for evil, that God is going to turn it around. And it's almost like God is saying, look, I am going to give you a reason to smile again. I know this has taken a long time, but I am going to give you, and, and it's almost like, you, you know, uh, it's Ah, Holy Spirit. Mm. I'm seeing something that... Mm. Sorry, who, who, who is... Who is, uh, who is this person? Who, who, who is this Funke's sister? Just... just. Good morning, sir. It's me. Tell me to talk about Gondola for yourself. Oh... Okay. Um, it makes sense to me now. It makes sense to me now. <laughs> mm. 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 Please tell Mama Funke. That God is going to make us smile again. <laughs> um, I I I I believe it, it makes more sense to you now, uh, and, and it makes more sense to me. So, but God wants her to smile again. It's it's. Uh, I know you understand what I'm talking about. Um, this smile is not the usual smile, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I will, I, I will pause and and on that. I can do siliando barate keli mande, lihando brekato seke teliba. The second, um. Uh, there, there are two, you know, other um, names that I, I like to believe they are names that seems to be coming. The first one is Tochi. I, I don't know. Do we have anybody who is who is Tochi? Um, and the second one is Bolani one. I don't know if I struggle with the possibility that the two of them can be the same person, but um, thank you. in fact, right now I'm convinced that the two of them are two different people. Um, but mm, thank you, Mr. 
do you have anybody who is who, who is uh whose whose name is Bola Rewa? Um uh anyone who is who is who is Bola Rewa? Who is Bola Rewa? Please you can omit your mic and speak, please. If you if your yeah. name is called or something. Yeah, that's my phone name. Okay. Um I in fact it, you are one of the reasons why I had to pause the prayer session so that I can get through all of this before we pray again. Because uh, there is something about this prayer that we are praying that is even more important for you. Because I uh oh thank you, Miss Ray. Now Uh, I I don't know what it is, you know, about about this this bolan of a person, but I feel again this this is what I saw. I saw that you were moving. It, it was like you are ministering in a church congregation, and. You were walking. In fact, you were literally not saying anything. Uh, you know, you were just walking around. And for everyone you touch, it was you. You, you were literally setting them at least. Um, I feel that God wants to use you to set men at least for Him. Right. Um, yeah, you you probably know that, or you probably are wondering how that how that is even going to make sense, right? But I'm telling you that God is not trying to set you on fire. God wants to use you to set men on fire, and the reason why I'm emphasizing this is because. You probably caught a wind of it, and you know you you try, you stutter, you you are not so fully sure, and and all of that. But in twenty twenty four, there is a journey in the Holy Ghost that God wants to take you. Twenty twenty four is not just another year for you. In 2024, God wants to take you on a journey. And <laughs> in that journey, it's a journey of encounter, a life-altering encounter. Because it's, it's almost like, uh, I get a sense of an urgency. Like, you've, you've, this should have happened some three years ago. Right now, it's almost like God is trying to... So 2024 is going to be intense for you because God wants to take you on some life-altering journey. Because you see, I see men hungry for fire. And it's okay for you to look at yourself like Jeremiah and say... But I also do know that at some point, God has given you a measure of encounter that is confirming what I'm talking about right now. Uh, I, I I have that witness in my heart. Yes, but sir. Right now, God, it, it's almost like God is saying, you don't get it. I mean business, right? You love God. No, you, you love God, no doubt. But God is saying, now we are moving past this thing. Like I need to get you into some place where I belo sakila mandoro ba seti alababo ya kasi keteli mai ndaliba. Oh, I pray that there is a supply of the spirit of grace for you. A supply. A supply. A supply. A supply, a supply, a supply, a supply, a supply, a supply. Embrakata kozoko poye, 
a supply in the Korobus Kantabalaba, and I, I, I rebook every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of discouragement that is sowing doubt into your heart about what, <laughs> what you have been commissioned to do. In the name of Jesus, I kill that spirit of doubt. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. I, from this morning, I activate the spirit that is no longer afraid. In braiko seko baliko tabundi, mehandro kasahu bereketu liam barakatu nelia, ele brame shanta barakato zebadi, lehito ko bredeke zeke teliba. People of God, I want us to pray again this morning and say, Lord, Set my heart on fire afresh for you. Lord, I tap into the supply of the spirit of grace. Set my heart on fire afresh for you. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I told a few people around me, I said, one of the things the Lord said to me about 2024 is going to be a really amazing year. God said it's going to be an adventure in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> so I'd like us to pray tonight and say, God, set my heart on fire. God set my heart on fire. 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 I perceive there is a purification of fire that is going on right now. Right now. There is a purification of fire. There is a purification of fire. There is a purification of fire. Pile baba sheketeba. Lebra kato so koliande brami sheli borokoskanda. In the Marakata, there is a purification of fire. You see, ah, <laughs> I don't know why God is bringing me this, 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 this illustration. You see, when you, when you, when you, when you wash something with, with water, there is a level of purification that, that happened, right? There is a level of change that happened. But you see, when there is a purification by fire, is another level, is, 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 is a form altering change. I see God bringing into this house this morning a purification by fire that is going to alter people. See, there are some people here, Maoka Suke Barandi, Ebraiko Sikaba. They are, ah, oh, yane ne moko sabala bada. Why, 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 why do I get a feeling that there are people here that <laughs> God is just using me to remind you of what he had already spoken to you already. I, I don't know why I get that feeling. But I feel that there is a purifying fire, a refiner's fire that is, and wherever you are, all over the world on this call today, I need you to connect into it and say, Lord, let that purifying fire work on me. See, there are men on this call, I see God transforming you from people, from a fearful person into a person that is unafraid. You will not be able to explain how the transformation happens. It is, it, it is, it is a refiner's fire. It alters your shape. There are how do you explain that a man like Gideon, who is hiding in one corner, becomes a man through whom God is going to save, through whom God is going, is going to become the person who is going to lead, he is going to lead a ridiculous number of people to battle, to go and confront the enemy. He's going to go and confront his way. Ah, I feel there are people here. The refiner's fire is going to propel you as you walk away from this place this morning. You will go and you will go and confront your fears. Hey, 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 and you pray in the Holy Ghost this morning. And say, Lord, I tap into the refiner's fire. I tap into this supply of the spirit. Hey, Kaya, 
Ah, no, no. I see God removing the spirit of fear. He is removing the spirit of fear. The form, the form. I kobole suda bababaya. Lembre kete kebo yegerebo. Rika kabase ketebo. I see men, men looking for their addition and not finding them again. You've struggled with it for a very long time. You're already giving up. In fact, you're already beginning to accept it that maybe it's part of you. It's, you've done everything. Don't worry. The refiner's fire is coming. It is going to alter your form. You, in fact, after today, you, you, will, you, will, you will look for it. You cannot even explain it. You will look for it and you will not find it. There is a refiner's fire that is coming upon a man right now. And you tap into it and say, Lord, and I don't know in what form you want him to transform you. And you say, God, I need this fire to transform me from this to be, be vulnerable with God. And said, I, 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 I connect, I submit to this refiner's fire and I allow it to transform me. From, from weakness into strength, from weakness into strength, you are always weak, always weak. Even you, you yourself, you can't even explain what you are doing with your youthful strength. Tap into this refiner's fire. Let it alter your form. I can baba korate ke le mandi. In le braka tusi ke makataba. Le breke ne ke zuka. In the mantelia, runde ke bele ke teke. There is a purifying by fire. A purifying by fire. A purifying by fire. O kala matoko bele ke ti agaba. O gle kruma kurande kwe ke bido la musanka po bai. Le gre ge 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 te ke le mandoro bobo. Le bre ke te ke ti kakata katabata. Le gre ge ge de do mas konte le bro moskende. You are stepping into this new year, a new person. Your form is being altered. Your form is being altered. People, people, people used to say, they say you are not organized. You are very disgruntled. too. You cannot go far with this, your attitude. You are stepping into this year, a reformed person. I see a spirit of administration falling on some people. You will suddenly become so organized that people will be wondering, say, no, this is not you. It will be visible that your form has been altered. <laughs> your form is being altered. I know, I know, I know you desire to pray for long. But for a very long time, you have been struggling to even get past five minutes of prayer. Something is happening to you this morning. Your form is being altered. <laughs> the Bible speaking about Jesus on that mount of transfiguration said, as he prayed, the form of his countenance was altered. Your form is being altered. The spirit of prayer is going to possess you. <laughs> oh, you are moving from the person who is struggling to pray to the person who will you will struggle to stop praying. There is a refiner's fire. Tap into it, tap into it, and say, Lord, I submit to this refining. Eko shabata kalabada ike koraba shiketebo lekete de barakata baba i liko poko sokoba lebre kete keba ya uranda dakate kelebo inde bre meke tulia kaba la kote minoso pra kete kete zori ande lebre ketu ande lebre kete keba rake kiti kele baboja zaru kete nema. In the Deruka Stamba Barakata, Rakate Liban Breke Kwangler Maskundele, In the Ruama Masuka Barata Kalaba, Yebereke Tola Borunando Robo Sapaya, Lebre Tuzikelema, Atakala Babaya, Legre de Brame Seketele, 
Ina no santa libra kataba. Mambre keturia. Rakwe menezo brakete kede de de. Giro katusi kele bambra kataba bala gadabaya. Ye kraba boso kotori baberi karukata sanda ya kuria. Rue kaili makana suka baikali mokoli ma santa lava baba. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Ye lebre kete kele barondia. Andre masante lebre kete ke boromo sikeleba. Ye kete kele makata karababa. Randa babara kataka zuze kete leba. Ina no skente le brame do si kele baya. Yende breke te kele babro me sina la boya. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Can you can, can you begin to appreciate the name of the Lord this morning? Can you appreciate the name of the Lord for the transformation that is happening in you? The transformation that is happening in you. The transformation that is happening in you. Ile ba meto zeke tebe le korea de besuzia. Jende brumas katala babara katala baya. And decree, I say, I am changed. I am changed. I have passed from weakness to strength. I have passed from fear. I have passed into faith. I have changed. I am changed. I am transformed. The refiner's fire has transformed me. My form is changed. Ike la bato zakaba. Lebra niti ke lebo siendere bakura. Rate ke lebre de 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 basu ke le mato kalabaya. Eliam bromas kalabra basu ke le maruke tonda balabazudia. Teki alababori amaskanda lababa yeke te lebro di kaskenda labaya. Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen, amen. Thank you, um, God, God, God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Tyler. Um, I just wanted you to, in addition to what you've done, just pray for all the intercessors, this year, but first I must say, this is the word the Lord gave Pio. Uh, Pastor Lumi, I've been talking about baptism of fire uh, for the church, and I think it comes across, and I keep saying that God says the water will wash, but the fire changes form, you know, and um, mm. we, we've just been, you know, thankful. Audron said that she also has a ministry called, that's the lady you prayed for, um, that mm -hmm. ministry is called Ablaze, so she's going to shut it down tomorrow because she felt she was not doing anything. Um the group, she's gonna shut down the group. Um Lady Woman that you gave the word to do as well. She gave a testimony on Thursday about when you came, you gave a word and she, she's beginning to see the manifestation where the law is opening up business for her in another state. You know, so we just thank God for the confirmation. What you give the first word you give for Lady Woman is has started already and we're just thankful. I just want to say what a prayer for all the intercessors that have labored this year on this platform. Ah, Heavenly Father, we, we thank you. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ikabu litisi andiri makata labaya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, ye kili mandura buskali andala baya kataba. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Uh, mm, okay. So, Pastor Isiri, let's catch up briefly after after this call. Um, yeah. Father, right, thank you. Thank you for thank you for all the men and women that you are using. Thank you for your spirit that is upon them. Thank you for your covenant over this house. Um, thank you, Jesus. I I mean I, I I can say it confidently that there is there is a covenant of God upon this house. Thank you, 
Um, and Lord, we, we, we just thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for these men and women who have connected into this grace. Thank you because you will give to them the most precious gift, which is the gift of yourself. Thank you. you will show yourself to them in ways that is beyond man's comprehension. But Lord, you will refill them. Amen. You will fuel them. Amen. You will empower them Amen. by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, they will grow from strength to strength. Amen. They will grow from strength to strength. Amen. They will grow from strength to strength. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, your work Amen. would prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Tyre. And I just pray for everybody that as we get ready, it's funny because our scripture for the year is Psalms 66. And you see, before you die, well, the place you are entering to, it talks about the Lord, we have gone through the fire and the flood. Um, Psalms 66 verse 12. But if you read, the Lord is speaking to me about the entire verse, the entire chapter. So when Pastor Ty was preaching, I went to verse 10 says, you have tested us, oh God. You have purified us like silver. You have purified us as silver. There is a purification. So this wealthy place is not just a wealthy place for, and is there is a purification that is coming. There is a cleansing that is coming. There's something the Lord is doing. And we're excited and we look forward to it in the name of Jesus, that we are strengthened in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord is upon us. He will strengthen us, will keep us. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you that he who have begun this good work is more than able to perfect it. We're ready for the fire. We're ready for the cleansing. We're ready for the strength. We're ready for everything that is coming. We're ready and we take hold of it in the name of Jesus. That in this new season, our lives will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. And we thank God that as we close out today, the Lord God will be our shield and our buckler in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Uh, remember, you can use this link to join all the other watches. All the watches ends by 9 p.m. today and Monday, 6 a.m. We'll just do a quick Thanksgiving. Um, so we're going to be only one watch on the first, which is the 6 a.m. watch, just to thank God and celebrate God. And then we'll pick up from Tuesday, from the second, our uh, regular watches. God bless you all. Fit for Purple starts next month as well. We're really excited to see what God is set to do. It's been a great delight and joy. Um, I don't know, this year feels like it's ending on a different note for me. There's a there's a sense I'm getting about this year. And I'm grateful to God for everyone, for everyone, for everyone. Get ready, get ready. God is about to blow our minds in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all and have a great, 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 great day. For as many... I'd like to give as we wrap up the year. The, de the details will be dropped um by the team in the chat box so you can give and you know we thank God for what he said to do. Amen. God bless us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well done. You will see the fruit of your labor um for everything you have sown, for everything you have done, for every seed sown. For every, like, I don't know, I've been having a sense uh, in which I feel like this year is about to end, like my 2021, when in a greater way, there was something I was trusting God for, and it looked like it didn't come. And I've been hearing testimonies about it just up until 31st. And I said, Ask God, but it came at 7 p.m., December 31st, 7 p.m. As at that point, I was like, well, I, there was no way. And again, this year is repeating the same pattern. I've been hearing some crazy, dangerous testimonies as we wrap up the year. And I'm just excited and looking forward to what God is set to do in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all and have a fantastic day. Amen.